Welcome sa continuation ng ating lesson about plate tectonics. Okay, specifically on the different types of plate boundaries. Last time, we talked about um, converging plate boundary. Ngayon naman, let's discuss about diverging and transform plate boundaries. Okay, so balikan natin yung plate boundary map natin. Okay, pansinin natin yung mga arrows dyan. So, last time ang hinanap natin yung mga nagbabangga ang arrow. Ngayon naman hanapin natin yung mga yung arrow na ang direksyon e eh, palayo sa isa't isa. Kaya halimbawa dito, kita na ba ninyo ito, yung Pacific Plate and Nazca Plate. And we also have um, South American Plate and African Plate. So, pansin niyo yung arrow niya, um, palayo sa isa't isa. And then, meron din naman tayo yung arrow na... Um, sliding passage other lang. Ayan. Parang nagkasalubong lang. Tulad nito yung Wandi Fuka uh, plate, Cocos plate, tsaka itong North American plate. Una, discuss natin, ano po yung divergent plate boundaries? Ito yung pangalawang type ng plate boundary. Yung una na diniscuss natin is convergent plate boundary. Nagbabangga ang mga plates. Ngayon naman, divergent Yan, naglalayo sa isa't isa. Lumalayo sila sa isa't isa. Nagsa-separate sila. Tulad nitong plate A and plate B. So, mula sa gitna, di ba, lumayo sila sa isa't isa. Yan, ang tawag dyan ay divergent plate boundary. Okay, ano bang nangyayari sa divergent plate boundary? So, yung rising convection below, convection current, yan. So, doon sa may mantle, na semi-solid, napakainip dyan. So, may pwersa or force dyan na tumutulak pataas si napakainip. Yan, nagkikreate siya na, uh, nil na nililift niya ngayon yung lithosphere. So, nagkaroon ng umbok kasi tinulak niya pataas. And then, habang yung tension force sa ilalim, ni-stretch niya yung lithosphere na hatak niya sa dulot-dulo Nagkakaroon ngayon ng crack or fissure doon sa gitna. And then, pag nagkaroon na ng crack, eh, it's where the magma flows out. So, dadaan doon yung magma. Doon sa gap or crack na na-create. And doon na rin siya magsusolidify. And then, the process repeats itself. Okay? Pag... Nahatak ulit yung lithosphere, magka-crack ulit yun, another magma will flow out. And that leads to the creation of new seafloor and widening of ocean basins. Okay? It also creates um, submarine mountain range such, um, such as the mid-Atlantic ridge between the um, South American plate and African plate. And then... Um, it creates volcanic activity in the form of fissure eruption sa ilalim ng um, tubig and also shallow earthquake activities. Um, here's a map showing, so may mapa dito, nakapakita ng mga um, ridge, yung mga may color pink channel lines, it shows mga divergent plate boundaries. Okay? Na itong diretsya dito sa part ng uh, mid-Atlantic Ridge between the South American plate and African plate. Meron din tayo dito, napakahaba dito sa bandang baba, okay? the Pacific Antarctic Ridge. So, ito yung ang um, pinakakilalang Mid-Atlantic Ridge uh, which is formed due to the separation of tectonic plates on both sides of the ocean. So, nakikrate yan ng new ocean basin. And sabi nila, um, that's the reason why nalung lumalayo yung African plate sa South American plate at nagiging wide yung karagatan sa pagitan nila. Um, ito naman, this is a picture of the ridge in Iceland. Another is 
paano naman pag yung diverging plate ay nahanap sa continental o sa kalupaan, hindi siya sa ilalim ng tubig. Okay? So, pag minsan, dito sa continental, pag nagkaroon ng paggalaw dyan, palayo sa isa't isa, okay? magka-crack ngayon yung crust. And, mag-spread out, which will lead to the formation of down-faulted valleys called Rift Valley. Okay? So, ang mabubuo pala dito ay Rift Valley. And, commonly, dahil down-faulted um, valley siya, o mababang parte siya, naiipunan yan ng tubig. Okay? Which leads to the creation of streams, rivers, and then pag tumagal-tagal pa at lalong lumawak ng lumawak yan, um, well, of course, magiging um, lake yan or sea. Tulad nung sa Red Sea, that's an example of um, diverging continental plate boundary noon. And another example of this is yung East African Reef. Ito po yung nangyayari sa Reef Valley. Pag tumagal na nag-spread out siya, so lumalawak yung, yung kalupaan sa ilalim niya. Kasi habang nag-create siya ng crack dyan, susolidify na naman. Pag na-stretch na naman, nagka-crack na naman, may papalit na naman ng magma, magsusolidify ulit. So the Reef Valley uh, will be developed into new ocean basin. And then, pag tumagal-tagal pa, eh, it will lead to mature oceans. Okay, the third type of plate boundary, we have transport, transform plate boundaries. Okay, mahanap ito naman sa mga plates na um, gumagalaw, sliding passage other. Okay, tulad nito. Okay, so anong ma-form dito sa mga transform plate boundaries? So, um, magkakaroon lang ng land deformation and of course, occurrence of earthquake. Okay. This slab of crust grind past each other which triggers earthquake activities. And example ng mga ito, example ng transform plate boundary, pinakakilala si Bulo dito ay yung San Andreas Fault. Yeah, so, nakita niyo ba yung linya dyan sa gitna? So, nandyan yung um, boundary ng um, Cocos Plate at saka ng North American Plate. Yan. Yeah. And, nagkakaroon ng ng land deformation between them. Pero, natitrick yun yan ng malakas na pagrindol or earthquake. Yeah. So, ito, um, halimbawa, ito ng mga um, tinutukoy natin na different types of plate boundaries. So, meron tayo dito, um, convergent plate boundary, creating island arcs, and trench. Meron din tayo dito, transform plate boundary, and the divergent plate boundary here on the middle. Tapos, dito sa kabila, meron din tayong halimbawa na may virgin plate boundary sa continental naman. Creating reef bonds. And here's a map showing the different um, plate boundaries. And yung red lines, it shows convergent um, plate boundaries. Yung white lines yan, it shows divergent plate boundaries. And yung orange naman, it shows transform plate boundaries. Napapansin nyo ba yung um, dito sa part ng um, Pacific plate? Okay. It's more on red. So, ibig sabihin, marami dyan converging. It means... Maraming subduction process yung nangyayari dyan, puro subduction. So, nagkikreate yan ng maraming volcanoes and trenches. And, 
Dito naman sa kabila, between South American plate and African plate, nansin niyo yung orange dyan. And that's divergent um, plate boundary. Nag-create naman yan ng new ocean floor. Okay, so sabi nila, pag mas madalis yung subduction rate, mas madalis yung subduction dito, liliit yung karagatan. And pag mas mabilis naman yung um, creation ng um, new seafloor, then lumalawak naman yung karagatan. Let's have a review. Ano kaya ang uri ng or type ng plate boundary ang pinapakita nito? Yan. Tama. Ito ay convergent plate boundary. Ito naman. Tama ulit kayo. Ito naman ay divergent plate boundary. And last one. Okay. Tama. Ito naman ay transform plate boundary. So that's all about the different types of plate boundaries.